So the Senate on Senate concluded on Sunday, October 27th. Senate on Senate has been controversial because the Pope invited the lay faithful, even people of other faith, to participate in the process in discussing the issues that the bishops were discussing during this conference. And people have been worried about whether some of the truths of our church were going to be affected by this. You know, I want to first just make a comment about how Pope Francis views coming at the truth. I know his predecessor, Pope St. John Paul II, right, was probably the greatest philosopher of our time, and he came at the truth through philosophy. Pope Benedict is probably the greatest theologian of our time, and he came at the truth through theology. Pope Francis comes at the truth through dialogue, to through dialogue between the people and through dialogue with the scripture and traditions of the church, understanding more what that truth is that is in the scripture and traditions of the church. Pope Francis isn't looking to change those truths. He's looking to just better understand and explain them. You look at the changes that Pope Francis has made, the controversial issues that he's brought up, and none of those have been changed. He stands by the truths of the church.